Wow, you did a great job. Well, I guess there's probably some difficulty in sitting in one place all night and looking through some cameras while doing literally nothing else. Anyways, I called again because I'm supposed to update you on new developments that concern you as the company puts it. Uh, actually, one of the other animatronics is now active. The red one, which I think is called Bio. Most progress we've had in forever. Also, the technicians found out an issue about the robots. Apparently they identify human faces as tubby toast due to sensor damage they didn't pick up on before. So they try to pick up any stray toast and put it back into the toaster? It's pretty unsanitary, but it saves those pennies. It's also really unhealthy if it's a human being crammed in that toaster. Anyways, that means you don't want them to get a hold of you. Another quirk is that they become more active as the night guards work through the week. As if they become more aware of them. They seem to reset as the night guards leave though. Which is really weird. It's just something to keep in mind. I think I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, Poe. Um, although she's functional, she can't really see due to her lack of eyes. It's been hell for the company to find replacements. She's also able to scan her surroundings though with other senses, like smell and sound, however. That means making sudden movements might make Poe scan your face as it was toast. So, uh, stay still in her presence. Flipping the monitor and using the vent shutter will also make her be more aware, but to a lesser extent, actually. The monitor itself also makes a bit of noise while it's on, too. So when she appears, just don't move. Simple enough, right? Anyways, have fun with those two. Peace.
Mm-hmm.